Anastasia Merrill Charles, affectionately known as Stacy, of the Burkes St. George, passed away on Monday, 1st November 2021, at the age of 72. She was the mother of Dr. Lorne Howard Charles and Raj Andy Charles, grandmother of Lorne Adam Charles, Gloria Vivian Charles, Caleb, Aidan, Leela, Noah, and Christian Charles, mother-in-law of Meta Gale Charles and Laura Alclock Charles, caregivers, nurse Ambika Joseph and the Care Transition Clinic team, nurses Beryl Williams and Gertrude Braveboy. Many cousins, other relatives and close friends including Joseph Charles and family, Esther Albert and family, Justina Decima Scott and family, Dorcas Charles and family, Samuel Charles and family, Cheryl Brazan and family, Althea Francis and family, Louise Hood and family, Alistair Depredine and family, Angela Mitchell, Doreen Mark, Claudette and Raphael Felix, Jean Lambert, Daniel, Christine, Colleen, Myrtle and Samuel Frederick, all the members of the church in St. George, and friends and neighbors in the USA, the Bocas and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late Anastasia Merrill Charles, affectionately known as Stacy, of the Bocas St. George will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Cuthbert Thomas, also known as Archie of Chantimel St. Patrick, who resided at Cherry Hill St. George, passed away on Friday, November 5th, 2021, at the age of 79. He was the husband of Irma Thomas, father of Marjorie, Christopher, Eric, Troy, and Terence, grandfather of 15, including Miranda, Aaliyah, Khadija, Mackie, Arl, Nichelle, Akemi, Sherelle and Caro Thomas, and Nathaniel, great-grandfather of 19, great-great-grandfather of one, brother of Christine, Wilma, Patrice, and Justine, father-in-law of Dexter Thomas, brother-in-law of Bernice Thomas, uncle of many including Patty, Nancy, Sherma, Gary, Curtis, Elroy, Beverly, and Melissa, nephew of Norma, Helen, Edna, and Ammon. Many cousins, other relatives and close friends, including the Nelson and Thomas families of Chantimel, the boys at Coco Valley, and friends and neighbors of Chantimel, Soters, Cherry Hill, and surrounding areas. The funeral service for the late Cuthbert Thomas, also known as Archie, of Chantimel St. Patrick, who resided at Cherry Hill St. George, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Jenilyn Victor Francis Hector, also known as Jen of Guav, who resided in Brooklyn, Concord St. John, passed away on Monday, 15th November, at the age of 50. She was a mother of Alan and Janelle Hector, grandmother of Zion, Zane, and Zenaya, daughter of Verna Francis, Augustine Richardson, also known as Black Boy in the USA, sister of Jenny, also known as Susie, Toya, Juanita, Tarina, Winston, Lauriston in the UK, Gemma, Clifford, Martin in the USA, Fiona in Trinidad, Carla in Canada, Jasmine in the USA, Curl, Allison, Amanda Richardson in the USA, and Winifred. Sister-in-law of Tyrone Tika, Cindy Peters, and Alicia Ross. Niece of many including Vernice Collins, Eilis Smart, Avis Francis, Dolores, Judy Lewis, Agatha Richardson, Jerry Lewis, and Benedict Batiste. Aunt of many including Keisha, Kemaline, Quincy, Cody, Talisha, Gion, Alia, Rhonda, Marinda, Michael, and Joel. Cousin of many in Canada, the USA, UK, and Grenada including Sharon, Jennifer, Garfield, Staff, Marvis, Karen, Dr. Petra Charles, Micey, Rose, Laurie, Oliver, Sheldon, and Samantha. Many other relatives and friends including the Francis, Charles, Richardson, Tika, Dinah, Marquez, and Harper families of Concord, Grenville, Rose Hill, Grand Small and Guave, Auntie Ruth, Lorna, Bernice, Paul, Magnola, Jeffrey, staff of Concord Government School, vendors of Guave Market, 
members of the New Upliftment Spiritual Baptist Church, Michael, friends and neighbors of Brooklyn, Guav, Canada, USA, UK, and surrounding areas. The funeral service for the late Janeline Veronica Francis Hector of Guav, who resided in Brooklyn, Concord St. John, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Lakwa Brothers Funeral Home. David Stanley Chappell, also known as Japs, Buddy and Gias, of Mount Carmel St. Andrew, retired teacher of the St. Giles Anglican School, passed away on Wednesday, 10th November 2021. At the age of 77, he was the husband of Norma Chappell, father of Nikki Franklin, grandfather of Haley Franklin, brother of Henry, Wesley and Knoxley Chappell, Maureen Chappell and Rosalind Charles brother-in-law of Earl Charles, Myrna and Shirley Japal, and Shirley James. Many nieces and nephews including Delon, Kenneth, Trevor and Roger Japal, Kevin and Keisha Charles, Jasmine and Zara Japal, and Wendy Ann Hill. Other relatives and friends including the Japal, John, Carryman and Philip families, Dave Copeland and family, Dr. Darland Noel, and friends and relatives of Mount Carmel, Tuileries, Munich, and surrounding areas. The funeral of the late David Stanley Japal, also known as Japs, Buddy, and Gias, of Mount Carmel St. Andrew, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Fitz Isidore Alexander, also known as Brigadier, of Grand Aunt's Housing Scheme St. George, passed away on Monday, November 15, 2021, at the age of 57. Left to mourn are his daughters Melissa and Candy, siblings Fitzroy Alexander, Winston James, Karina Hood in the USA, Brenda Mitchell and Faye Hood in Grenada, aunts Tessa, Gloria and Linda Alexander, nephews Karim, Juan, David, Isaiah, Josiah, Joshua, Xavier and Fitzroy, sister-in-law Delicia Alexander, son-in-law Brent Cyrus, Cousins Jerry, Janelle, Raquel, and many more too numerous to mention. Caretakers Patsy Andrews, Brenda Andrews St. Louis, and Veronica Pilgrim. Other relatives and friends including Linus Williams in Trinidad and the boys in the Limes. The funeral service and entombment of the late Fitz Isidore Alexander, also known as Brigadier, of Grand Aunt's Housing Scheme St. George, will be held privately. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Bernadette Rona Superville of New Hampshire St. George, residing in Canada, passed away on Monday, 22nd November. The funeral of the late Bernadette Rona Superville of New Hampshire St. George, who resided in Canada, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements have been entrusted to Lockwood Brothers Funeral Home. Evelyn Baldio of Good Hope St. George passed away on Saturday, November 20th, 2021, at the age of 65. The funeral arrangements for the late Evelyn Baldio of Good Hope St. George will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. David Charles, also known as Joby, of La Follette St. Andrew, passed away on Wednesday, 17th November 2021 at the age of 78. The funeral arrangements for the late David Charles, also known as Joby, of Lafayette St. Andrew, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Shawlan Timothy James of Pearl St. Andrew died on Monday, November 8, 2021, at the age of 45. The funeral arrangements for the late Shawlan Timothy James of Pearl St. Andrew will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Bailey's Funeral Home. Dave Marquez, also known as Kalawa, of Guov St. John, an employee of Nawasa, passed away on Thursday, 11th November 2021, at the age of 51. The funeral arrangements for the late Dave Marquez, also known as Kalawa, of Grove St. John, an employee of Nawasa, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. 
Hermeline Maureen, also known as Mum, of Crochu St. Andrew, who resided at Mount Hartman St. George, passed away on Monday, November 8, 2021, at the age of 67. The funeral arrangements for the late Hermelin Maureen, also known as Mum, of Crochu St. Andrew, who resided at Mount Hartman St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. Catherine Williams, also known as Bemisi, Tita and Darling, of Blair St. Andrew, who resided at Jean Anglais St. George, passed away on Friday, November 5th, 2021, at the age of 72. The funeral arrangements for the late Catherine Williams, also known as Bemisi, Tita and Darling, of Blair St. Andrew, who resided at Jean Anglais St. George, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. William Loftus Nayak, also known as Lala, of River Sally St. Patrick, who resided in Kumana Main Road, Toko, Trinidad, passed away on Saturday, 2nd October 2021, at the age of 91. The funeral arrangements for the late William Loftus Nayak, also known as Lala, of River Sally St. Patrick, who resided in Kumana Main Road, Toko, Trinidad, will be given in a subsequent broadcast. Funeral arrangements entrusted to Lacqua Brothers Funeral Homes. The management and staff of MTV extend deepest condolences to those of you whose loved ones have passed on. Thanks for watching. Death and dying are the inevitable events and realities of life. The passing of a friend or loved one often brings with it the feelings of sadness, grief and pain. There is always the period of sorrow and mourning for those who experience such loss. Brothers and sisters, particularly in this time and season of how you feel and what you may be thinking as a result of the passing of your loved one, there is a source and means of comfort that you can tap into. That source and means of comfort is God and His Word that speaks specifically and directly to our situation. Hear the word to you today. He says, Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. What I believe he is saying through this verse to you and everyone that is now experiencing some measure of grief or sorrow, and what I also believe is implied in that which he says are the following. Mourning is an understandable, normal, and real expression of your emotions. Mourning presents the opportunity for us to experience the comfort of family, friends, and loved ones. Mourning identifies us with each other in our humanity and morality. Mourning will not last forever. It is for a particular season and reason. Mourning connects us with the ultimate source and means of comfort that always that is always available to us, God, our Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ. And so today, we look to the Lord in prayer, Him who is able to comfort us with the comfort that we need in times like these. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, God of comfort, we pray even now for those who mourn and are in need of your comfort. May your love embrace them. May your grace afford them the strength for each day and hope for tomorrow. May you inspire and motivate them to stand upon the promises of your word. And may your spirit lead and direct them to the ultimate source and means of comfort which can be found in you and the promises of your word. This prayer we offer through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.